Okay, so this is the air brake from Putt Out, and this is the putting mat that everyone has been talking about since it first got unveiled at the PGA show earlier this year. Uh, I think it's ingenious, a lot of way. I've never seen anything like it. Really freaking cool. And the reason there's been so much buzz and demand around the air brake is that it claims to successfully do one thing that no other putting mat has done before, and that is having the ability to practice breaking putts at home. Now, the question we have is whether it is truly revolutionary or whether this is all just one big gimmick. Let's dig in and find out. So the way you set up the air brake is actually all pretty simple. The whole thing is actually pretty compact, which I like because it makes it easy to store when you're not using it. But when you're ready to get going, you just unfold the base and then you unpack each of the pumps. These little pumps are what you use to adjust the different brakes, which I'll show you in a minute. Then you unroll the mat and hook it into each of the little eyelets that keep it in place. The putting surface itself should look pretty familiar to anyone who's used putt out before because the feel and construction is a whole lot like their other putting mats, which we've been using for years. Then this is where the magic happens. You actually use these pumps to set your brake and we'll show you some of the different brakes here in just a second. And then the last piece of the puzzle is this little podium that comes with the mat. It's easy to set up on either side for lefties or righties. And when you set it down next to the mat, it allows you to stand nice and level for putting. The whole putting surface is about eight feet long, but like I said, where the real magic comes in is the breaking putt. So let's try a few out. So if you look at the putt out website, you can see there's a lot of different options for break styles that you can set up with this mat. From uphill and downhill putts to humps, left to right, right to left, and even double breakers. And the brakes are all controlled with these little pumps. In total, you can stretch this thing out pretty far. You can actually create up to a seven and a half percent side slope or a 3% continuous uphill or downhill grade. And then when you're ready to level the brake back out, all you have to do is press this little valve on the pump and it lowers right back down. Here's one of my favorite parts though. You can actually pair it with the free air brake app. And what this does is it allows you to use your phone to set the exact brake that you want for each putt. So basically as I'm pumping this up, I'm able to use the app to set the exact percentage right to left brake that I want. All right, so in a second, we've got to test out some of these breaking putts. And then after that, of course, I want to talk about price because as cool as it is, like I said before, we got to see if it's worth the spend. But before we do that, of course, we've got to mention a couple of the other features. First and foremost, it's measured according to putt out to around a 10 on the stimp. So it's certainly quick, but definitely not lightning quick. Down here at the end of the mat, you've also got this foam bumper, which will catch balls from just rolling off the mat. And if you do make the putt, you've got this great automatic ball return feature, which will pop the ball right back to you. And you can kind of just stay in one spot and just keep draining putts. All right, let's start hitting some breaking putts to see how true it feels. And I'm gonna start with a pretty big right to left breaker, which means all I have to do, like I said, is just pump up this side. I'm not gonna go super precise right now. I'm just gonna do about three pumps on each, raise this up just a bit. Maybe we'll go even a little further. Like I said, if I wanted to break out that app, I can exactly measure how much of a break we're gonna have, but just eyeballing it, I can already see we're gonna have a pretty good break here. All right, I'm looking at the mat and I can definitely see the right to left break we've created here. Ooh, just missed it. Now, like I said, we haven't maxed this out. It's certainly nothing as extreme as this mat can go, but you can see right there, we've got a good, I'd say four to six inches worth of break in this about six foot putt that we're taking here. Now, what's great about this, of course, is that you can practice some basic fundamentals like pace versus amount of break. If you are someone who likes to more diet into the cup, or if you like to get it in with a little more pace, you can really experiment with that and you can experiment with really where you're apexing that ball and if you're able to make the putt. And like I said, because we've got that measurement tool and we know exactly how much break is in it, we can translate that out on the golf course as we read similar putts that we experience in real life. So it really is 
some effective practice. By the way, for anyone who's wondering, this particular putt is measuring at about 4.1% left to right and about 1.7% on the upslope. Now let's get really weird here. I'm gonna level it all out and then we're gonna try a big old double breaker. And of course to do that, we're just gonna pump this right side up a bunch at the start of the putt and then we'll move around to the other side and let's pump up this left side to give it a little bit of a left to right break at the end. We are really starting to contort this mat here. Now, like I said, we can use the app or we can also just kind of eyeball it here. And I'm already starting to see a twist here where it's gonna start breaking left at the beginning and right at the end. All right, let's give this a go. And if I'm right, it should push a little bit left at the start, but a lot of the break will be at the end where it should kick it back. Yeah, definitely a lot of break towards the end there where the putt starts to slow down. So in total with the eight different pumps, you've got eight different spots where you can raise this mat up. So like I said, it creates an unlimited number of options, downhill putts, putts with a big old hump in the middle, left to right, right to left, or like I said, even some double breakers. All right, so this could definitely get addicting really quickly. And it's obvious that Putt Out has really thought outside the box here, coming up with definitely a very simple but smart solution to practicing breaking putts at home. But like I said before, it really boils down to what's the price. So you can pre-order the air break on the Putt Out website for $339.99. And although that's a fairly high price tag, there's clearly a massive demand for it because the first production run that launched earlier this year completely sold out. So if you do go on to purchase now, you'll actually be getting on a waiting list at that price. But if it's gonna sell out again, it might be smart to uh, grab your spot in line. But demand or not, the real question is, is it worth it? Well, here's the deal. I've been a putt out user for years. We review just about every product that they've made here on the channel. And what's always attracted me to them is that it's been very high quality products at a very affordable price. This is definitely their first attempt at what I would call a much higher ticket item. Overall, I have to say that I'm definitely pretty impressed. You do get a lot of value here, even at a price tag that's over $300. It's definitely falls into that premium range, but Putout Out has always been known for making really high quality products, so you know you check that box there. But more importantly, what it does is it allows you to practice breaking putts. And realistically, there just aren't a lot of other options out there for anyone who wants to do that. So with that in mind, the question really boils down to who do we think that this is best suited for? And right off the top of my head, I'm thinking any of your pros out there, your elite amateurs, maybe your collegiate level golfers who really want to have that ability to continue to practice some of the most important parts of the game, which is putting and putting with a bit of slope, and then be able to do that in the comfort of your home without having to always make the trip to the golf course. This is a fantastic way for those players to get a lot of reps in. Additionally, I'm thinking coaches, people who are coaching in an indoor environment, this would be a great thing to add to their arsenal to be able to teach the basics of breaking putts, like I said, pace, apex, dying it into the hole, all those things, it's a great way to do that in an indoor environment. And of course, we don't want to leave our weekend hackers out either. If you're someone who just loves to grind on your golf game and maybe you only really have the opportunity to practice the majority of the time at home, then this is definitely something to give a look to so long as it's in your budget. There's no denying that the price tag is going to take it out of range for some people. But the good news is if you are willing to spend the money, you are going to get a lot of value here. Like I mentioned before, it's definitely a high quality product and it does solve that problem of being able to practice breaking, sloping putts at home, which we really just haven't seen before. And that is why so many people have been interested in this mat. Anyway, that's our thoughts. Let us know your own thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.